Okay, we've got $20 to spend. Let's see how many meals we can make out of this. Hoping for six, but we'll see. Okay, I've got three eight ounce bags of cheese that are $1.29 each, so it's $3.87 for those. And we've got like 14 something left. I've got salsa for $2.38, so let's keep going. Got our large bag of mixed frozen vegetables. So now we have about $10 left. Okay, we've got our can of garbanzo beans and our can of black beans. And we still have $7.88 left. Okay, and we've got our crushed peeled tomatoes and tomato puree. Um, and it's $1.99, so now we have around $5 left. Got our tomatoes, so now we have about $4.90 left. Okay, and we've got rice now, so now we have about $2 left. Okay, we've got our pasta now, and I think I have about $0.57 cents left, so I'm going to call it there. Let's go check out and see how we did. Let's see it go down. Your card has been accepted. How many store provided bags okay. did you... Okay, with my $18.98, let's go see what I can make and how many meals I can make. I didn't include things like flour or olive oil, little things like that, so I'll include those in the video, but let's see how much we can make. Okay, let me show you what I got for $18.98. Four Roma tomatoes, a box of rainbow rotini, a jasmine rice, a box of, or a can of garbanzo beans, black beans, crushed tomatoes, peach pineapple salsa, cauliflower style vegetables, parmesan cheese, cheddar jack, and mozzarella. So let's see what we can do with it. Okay, we're gonna make pasta with red sauce. We're gonna start by boiling our water for our first meal and just get that going. I also have a yellow onion that I wanted to use. If you don't have it, you don't have to do it, but that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna do half of a yellow onion and some olive oil. Okay, I'm going to cook the whole box of pasta because we'll use it and we'll eat it. So cook it until however you like it done or about like eight to nine minutes. Okay, we're also going to add in a tablespoon of garlic. If you don't have the onions, you can just do the garlic or vice versa um, and just get it cooking in there for a few minutes. And also I'm going to add in a tablespoon of butter. If you don't have the butter, just do it in olive oil. That's fine too. I just have it, so I'm using up what I have. And also just add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Okay, and we added in about half of this 28 ounce can into there and we're just gonna start cooking it down. We're gonna keep the other half of the tomato can in the fridge so we can use it later. If you have it, you can use red pepper flakes if you like it, if you don't, that's totally fine too, but let's try. I'm also going to add in about a teaspoon of sugar just to cut the acid. Okay, that's pretty perfect. Let's throw our pasta in there. You don't have to use the whole thing, just to use as much as you need. Okay, let's put some sauce on that. Looks so good already. And there's with the sauce on it. Let's go see how the hubby likes it. The hubby and I really enjoyed the pasta dish. Um, it reminded me of a dish my mom made for us growing up, which was like uh, tomatoes and, um, I don't know, noodles. Uh, I really enjoyed it growing up, and this tasted very similar to it. Um, very simple ingredients, very simple taste, but very delicious. So, hope you guys enjoy, and have a good night. Say good night, Corby. Aw, Corvo boy says good night.